Hello, this video is gonna be short, it will be kind of a short answer with some details. So let's begin. Minstock versus Meteor.js or uh, Meteor.js. What is the best? Uh, first, before we start, this video is gonna it's gonna be about my experience. It's it's an opinion. So, please don't comment below uh, saying, hey, this guy is wrong, or uh, it's gonna be your opinion too. I have done projects with Minstock and projects with Meteor, and I personally prefer the Minstock. Why? Why would I say that? I'm gonna be quick. Meteor has so much magic. I know that might sound good, that might sound great, but it's the opposite. It's really the opposite, guys. You know what? Because when there is too much magic, you are not 100% um, in control. Some things might happen and you, you just will not know how and why the downside of that is if an error occurred there is a high possibility that you will not uh, know how to solve it so why I prefer MERN um, there are plenty of answers for this question and they are all just great but if I had to say just one one reason I will say because JavaScript everywhere I know some of you might say uh, Meteor is also based on JavaScript and stuff uh, yes I agree but you are not in control of this of, of that JavaScript you don't you don't write that much JavaScript it's like everything is provided for you the opposite here in Mern stack you are in charge you you write uh, whatever you want with the exact why do you want that you want and you know everything about what you have in your application JavaScript everywhere so that's my that was my comparison and i hope you like the video and if you have any comment or uh, any note just comment it below and thank you guys uh, subscribe to my channel to uh, encourage me to continue and uh, feel free to write anything you want uh, about my next video what do you want me to do?